In a developing story tonight, a Kansas City woman now faces charges for abandoning her baby's body. The woman's father followed up with our Alyssa Jackson about her arrest in an exclusive interview. We're a family. You know, we'll fight through this. Alyssa is joining us now in the newsroom, and this is a case you followed for the past few months, and not the first time the mother has been brought up by authorities. That's right, Dia. In the beginning of this investigation, DNA from a swab connected baby Kalia to her mother. And according to the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office, Raylena Barlett admitted to police her baby died on May 6th. Now, that's seven days before police found her body in the woods. Barlett's father has spoken with her since she was arrested. Here's how he said that conversation went. More than three months after six-month-old Kalia Bridgewater's body was found abandoned in the woods, her mother, Raylena Barlett, could spend several years in prison in connection to her death. I remember you were telling me that you were kind of telling Raylena to lay low. She knows that my feelings on this, you know, I'm upset about it. When they spoke on Friday, it was from jail. She's hurting right now, you know, she's, she regrets a lot of stuff that took place. Um, she wishes she could have her baby back. Baby Kalia was Marty Lammer's youngest grandchild, but he didn't get much time with her. You know, the loss of the grandbaby, I don't think you ever really get over that. So it's something that is, you know, I, we, I got her memorial and I got pictures to look at her. So it's a daily reminder of, you know, who she was and what we had in our life. As grandfather to the baby and father to his daughter, who he says stands by her innocence, he's torn. I told her straight up, when the warrant comes out, don't run. Don't be hiding from them. Don't be telling lies. Take, take it straight up and take the actions that are coming to you. But she knows I'm not going to leave her. I'm just not going to throw her to the curb and say, you know, this took place. You're no longer my child. I mean, I've been her dad for 25 years. When the family gave the six-month-old a send-off two months ago, they were waiting for answers to questions they still have. So I was preparing myself to, you know, for the facts of the statements that were made, you know, no 911 call, you know, and just all that. You know, I, I being a parent, raising five kids of my own, you know, for over 30 years, you know, and, and just common sense would tell you that, you know, they were going to get you for something. From our initial reporting months ago, we know, according to police, there were several witnesses who claimed the mother reached out to them about the baby's death and needing financial help with cremation before the, before the baby's death was reported to police. The medical examiner's report determined the cause of death was undetermined. And according to the medical examiner, there were no signs of physical abuse. Yeah. Alyssa, thank you for that.